Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. All right, well, Harry Potter joins me on the desk. Thanks, Lord <laughs> Voldemort. Appreciate that. I pull off black quite nicely, actually. All right, a little more <laughs> mascara, we'll get it going. Moses Voldy joining me on the desk. First look at sports. Of course, Lloyd Mr. Bobcats in action tonight. Three new faces going to be in that lineup. One of them, Eric Ben Shadel, uh, did make his debut a little bit earlier this week, but he'll make his home debut tonight, while Griffin Amumbi and Ryan Chanel will be sporting the orange and black for the first time. It's nice to get the nerves out out there. I mean, obviously coming in, you want to do well and you're nervous, so it's nice to just get on the ice with the guys. Well, obviously I'm hoping to be able to contribute offensively. I've uh, had a pretty, pretty good year so far, so I'm hoping that can continue. Chanel now ties for the team's leading scorer, or at least second on the team's leading scorer, right behind Kevin Dara. Those two could play on the same line tonight, along with Noah Bald. As for the newest Cats, it's been a few days of learning new systems and diving right into vigorous practices. It's quick. Uh, it's go, go, go. Uh, it's short. Um, but while you're out there, you're, you're going the whole time. Um, you're giving it your all. And um, I mean, just, you'd be been places where you're out on the ice for two hours and you start to lose focus, whereas here it's go, go, go. The Drayton Valley Thunder are in town. Gord Thibodeau is stressing to his players to take the body as their physicality has dropped over the past couple months. I'd like us to get back to that mentality that we're chasing the puck and uh, putting pressure all over the ice and something we've gotten away from and part of it's been the short bodies. It's tough to play aggressive when you're short, but now we're, we're pretty much almost up to full speed. Uh, we'll have 20 guys in the lineup, and like I said, I'd like to see us get back to that pressure mentality. Also another first, Austin Uramchuk will return to the Civic Center for the first time since being traded to the Bobcats or by the Bobcats. You can catch action tonight, Civic Center starting at 7.30. Meanwhile, the Bonneville Pontiacs are on the ice tonight as they host White Court. The Pontiacs trail the Wolverines by three points for second in the North Division, but Whitecourt has played three fewer games. Now, in four previous meetings, Whitecourt has won three of them. Puck drop is at 7.30 at RJ Lalonde Arena. Now to some more hockey news for you. AAA Bobcats defenseman Ty Smith made a Spokane Chiefs debut Wednesday as the Chiefs defeated the Saskatoon Blades 9-2. The first overall pick in the 2015 Bantam Draft collected two assists and was a plus four in the win. Now, Smith will play in tonight's game against the Portland Winterhawks before it coming back to play with the AAA Bobcats. Smith was also named to Team Canada's Youth Olympic team and is heading to Lillehammer, Norway. The Youth Olympics get underway February 12th, Canada's first game on the 13th versus Team Russia. Now yesterday, we brought you a story on the women's wrestlers basketball team. Today, it's time to take a look at the men's. The wrestlers finished the first semester with a six and six record after a long break and new faces added to the squad. The wrestlers are now back to square one. Brett Morton explains. It was a long break, so I mean it was needed, but at the same time a lot of rust builds up. Guys forget to play, stamina, stamina issues, and uh, we added four new players. So with that, it's you have to go back to square one. It's like starting from you know the beginning again. The wrestlers needed the extra bodies after they played some games in the first semester with as little as seven players. They open up the second semester versus the Augustana Vikings, a team with just one win on the season. So it can be a good chance to get the new guys caught up. It's always good to kind of have um, a not-so-aggressive team, but at, like you said, um, no game is easy. So we want to, we don't want to take any team lightly. We want to come out strong. But I think, yeah, this is a good thing to uh, have the new guys work into our system pretty good. During the week, head coach Sheree Thomas had to stop practice during some drills to get the team to refocus. We're, we're pressing a lot. We want to get up and down and speed things up just to see... Uh, where their stamina is at and see if they can handle playing quick. Um, it didn't look so well in my eyes, right? I had to stop a lot, a lot of correcting. And when with guys in and out, it's, you know, it's like I said, it's going back to square one. You have to remind guys about things and, and teach all over again. So it was a teaching point, but all in all, I think, um, I think it will come together. In the first two meetings this season, the wrestlers outscored the Vikings 179 to 114, but no, they can't take them lightly. They're a team that's, that's deadly. Um, they, they beat um, a, a good team and they also played a lot of teams close so the game plan is uh, no let down uh, don't let them shoot threes they want to shoot threes that's that's pretty much their game plan to beat most teams and if we uh, get out to three-point shots rebound and play good defense we'll we'll win three-point shooting they, they love to shoot the three so I mean if we take that away then uh, they play right into our defensive plan so I think that's the best thing we can do is take away the three tip off for tonight's game is 8 p.m. Brett Morton new cap sports 
Boys at 8, the women 6 o'clock. Make sure you head down to Lakeland Gym for that. Meanwhile, the wrestlers' volleyball teams are on the road. They're in Edmonton to take on the Concordia Thunder. We will have all the scores for you on our late-night cast.